Normally I give a color lecture in class, so I'm going to be doing it here on the computer. The same thing is presented to you if you have PowerPoint. Maybe my narration may help, maybe not. Color and light is called additive color. Mixing color with light, because every wave has a different length and every length means a different color, is called additive. Interestingly, additive colors have three primaries that are different than pigment, and that is red, blue, and green. Color in pigment is different. That's subtractive color. The reason is, is because as you add more and more color to these three main primary colors, what happens is you neutralize them and you begin to subtract their intensity. Therefore, colors made with pigment, like the color wheel that I've assigned, has subtractive color. The color wheel is a conventional method of arranging colors, there are 12, on the traditional color wheel so that we can show color relationships, but there's many more. In fact, often when you click on a computer screen and you try to adjust your colors, it may offer millions of colors because there are so many variables. Primary colors in pigment are red, yellow, and blue. But when we talk about additive color, we are talking about primary colors being red, blue, and green. But in subtractive colors, it is red, yellow, and blue. Secondary colors are orange, green, and purple. Purple is often called violet by artists, even though violet references light. Tertiary colors, sometimes called intermediate colors, are a combination of a primary and secondary. Complementary pairs are opposites from one another. If they're very intense, the cones and rods of the eyes can vibrate. There's three notable pairs, yellow and purple, red and green, and blue and orange. Please note that the word complement here is spelled with an E. Not like compliment, like, ooh, that's a great color, or that shirt looks great on you. Here, compliment, spelled with an E, actually means the relationship of colors that are opposite on the color wheel, especially these three pairs. Analogous colors appear next to each other on the color wheel, and they often contain a common color. A work of art that has all of the same colors, and we've already established this in the first part of the semester, is called monochromatic, and that would be a painting that is only all blue colors. Lights and darks of blues, called tints and shades of the color blue, the primary blue, is called monochromatic. Color temperature means how warm or cool the color is. Colors on the left side of the color wheel evoke a warm sensation. Think fire, red, yellow, and orange. And then on the right side of the color wheel evoke a cool sensation, blue, purple, and green. Here's some other terms. Fully chromatic means that it has all of the colors. Achromatic means that it lacks any color at all. That means black, white, and gray. Monochromatic means that it uses only one color. Local color is the natural color of an object. Hue is the, just the name of the color. So red, top, mauve, teal. Hue, the name of the color. Intensity is the color in its purest form, sometimes called saturation. Tint means adding white to the color, which means tinting it up and lightening it. And shade is the addition of black to a color, meaning darkening it, usually done with black or another color. Subjective color is color that is arbitrary and is used often to satisfy the vision of an artist but doesn't relate to nature in any way. Here's an oil on canvas by John Singer Sargent, and this work is fully chromatic and it includes local color. Here is a work by Henri Matisse, 
This work has been nicknamed the green stripe because down the middle of her face there is a green stripe and her hair is purple. And also, some of her features are not local color, such as the yellow on the one side of her face. So here we are using subjective colors. The artist is inventing through the use of unnatural color. Picasso was a champion of monochromatic painting. Here we see something from his blue period where indeed all of the colors are either tints or shades of the color blue. Achromatic color, this is a painting by Chuck Close, means that it has only black, white, and gray. A meaning no, chroma meaning color, means that it has no color at all. Complementary color spelled with an E means that these are colors that are opposite on the color wheel. What happens is by positioning them together, it intensifies the color next to it. So you may have green against red or blue against orange, very evident in this work. And that creates a very tense relationship. And usually this is used to either draw attention or create tension in a work of art. Analogous and cool colors. This is an analogous palette, blue, blue, green, and green. The colors are next to each other on the color wheel, and all of the colors are cool. Think water. By the same artist, Wolf Kahn, we look at the same pretty much painting done with a different color palette, which is a warm palette. Again, here, the colors are analogous. We have yellow, yellow, orange, and then orange are the pretty much the most important colors in this particular painting. But these are also evident of a very warm painting. Think fire. Even this green at the bottom of the screen has a lot of yellow in it. So it's bordering, moving away from that cool color of which it's classified into a warmer category. So I hope this helps you in terms of your cost color test.